evening, dear ladies. We are starting. Uh, good evening, dear ladies. Let's bless the Siata Dishma that we will all have the school to greet Mashiach Tikkun Barachamim Ruin Bimrabi Amen Amen. Eliyahu Nabiliyahu Tishviliyahu Biladi Bimray Abu Mashiach David Eliyahu Nizakul Atov. And we will all have the school Bezat Hashem to see the building of Beit Hamikdash Hashem Bimrabi Amen Amen. Yain Bain Ruin Shabbat Night Zion. Nachat Akum Drachem Zion Ki Et Lechanana Ki Ba Moed. Hashivenu Adonai Lechavan Hashuba Chadesh Amenu Kekedem. We will all have the school Bezat Hashem. To go to, uh, to Eretz Israel on the wings of eagle, and we all have part in Eretz Israel. Hashem, Hashem, Naseh, and Atzliach, Enod Mil Bado. Hashem, Spatay Tiftach Ufiyagiti Latecha, and Bezrat Hashem. Everything that we do is Bashem Kol Israel in the name of all of the children of Israel. Bezrat Hashem. Amen. Vesiat Adishmei, dear ladies, Anachnu before Shavuot. Wow, it's like we close our eyes and. It, it was just Rosh Hashanah. It was just Rosh Hashanah. Shavuot, the three weeks, and again Rosh Hashanah. Unbelievable. That's the time of Mashiach. That a, a year looks like a, a day. And we have all of the seasons in one day. We have a changing of the seasons in one day. Everything is happening so quickly, Baruch Hashem. Ezrat Hashem, may Hashem bring refuah shlema to Klal Amo Yisrael. And among them, Besiyat Adishmaya is Leah's husband, Yehuda ben Tamar, and Bezrat Hashem. She went to bring him home. Okay, so... And Besiyat Adishmaya, Madlena bat Simcha, Madlena Malka bat Simcha. Malka Mali Bat Miriam, Angela Dina Bat Gulchera Bezrat Hashem, Leah Bat Freida, please daven for them. Leah Bat Freida, I'm reminding you, she's a Balanit and she has the disease and she needs help. Please, Leah Bat Freida, mention all of her. Bella Bat Esther, Rachel Bat Dina, Sara Bat Malka, and Bezrat Hashem, uh, Anita said, thank you, Baruch Hashem, uh, the, the treatment that she gets, Baruch Hashem, uh, she's a little bit better, but we need to continue uh, praying for her. So it's uh, Sarah Arachel, but Hasida Sarah Bezrat Hashem, and Besiyat Adishma, everybody that needs Mo'ale Fatah, that Hashem will give her a flash of Amen. 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 And everybody will be in the Tfilot Bezrat Hashem. And everybody that is healthy, may Hashem continue to the health mentally and physically. So, dear ladies, we are before Shavuot. Shavuot is this coming Thursday night, Bezrat Hashem, which means Friday is Shavuot. And uh, in Israel, it's one day. Yeah. We have two days. So again, we have, uh, in Israel, they're going to uh, read Parashat Neso, Besiyat Adishmer, on Shabbat, but we will be in Shavuot. It's Lenu Zadayin Shavuot. So, and I'm reminding you also, in Israel, they have to do Yeruf Tavshilin, because we have Thursday, Thursday night, we have Friday and Shabbat, in order that we can prepare for Shabbat, we have to do Yeruf Tavshilim, I'm just reminding you, to make a plate, to see that you have Lechem Ishne, Besiyat Adishma, you need over there like uh, 57 grams of, uh, of uh, challah or, or a roll, and see that you have a Tavshil, and say the bracha before the holiday comes yeah, in, but, but so I, before the holidays come, you can take an egg, you can take a, a small, uh, 27 grams, it's enough, 30 grams of tafshil. You keep it, and on Shabbat for Shalishidis, on uh, the third meal, you, we use it, the Siyat So I'm just reminding you, I'm reminding you also a candle, and I'm reminding you on Shabbat, for us outside the land of Israel, Shabbat is, uh, is cold. So, because this, uh, we have two days of Shavuot, Bezat Hashem. So let's start. It's about, we were preparing for Shavuot for so long. Yes, and another thing, don't forget to put a candle, that uh, for like three days candle, so you can light the candles of Shabbat, that we move from one candle to another. So dear ladies, Besiyat Adishmaya, I'm reminding you, we're, we're preparing for Shavuot 50 days. Shavuot is the 50th day, 49 days we're preparing. Me, from Pesach 
to Shavuot, and we'll speak about it. So the holiday of Shavuot has, it says, the Midrash says, it has four names. The first name is Chag Shavuot. Why is it Shavuot? By weeks. Shavuot means, Shavuot means week. Shavuot means weeks. So we have the Siyat Adishmer from Pesach until Shavuot, seven weeks. So we see, I'm just looking for my, So we see we have Shavuot. Okay, with the Kamats, which means weeks. But Shavuot also means Chazal say our sage is Shavuot. Shavuot, you see the, the difference is the dots. If the Shin has Shva, then it's Shavuot, means Oat that Hashem promised the children of Israel, and the children of Israel promised Hashem. We said, Naseh Benishma. Naseh Benishma. This is an oath between us and Hashem. That's what he said. We were going to do and then listen, which means we don't ask questions. These are the commandments of Hashem. It's written in the Torah. Hashem created the world. We have the Torah, the Torah, is about it, the Torah is not limited by space and time, it's forever. Hashem is eternity, the Torah is eternity. As Hashem showed us, He gave us the Torah and He said, You follow my way, I'll bestow all of the blessings of heavens upon you. So we promised Hashem, Nasebenishma, we're going to listen, we're going to do, and we're going to listen. First, we're going to do, and then we'll listen. Okay, and Hashem said, Baitemli. And you're going to be special to me from all of the nations. This is an oath. It's forever. When we listen to Hashem, when we don't listen to Hashem, you remember we studied about Rabbi Mir Balanes, and he had a disagreement with, uh, with Rabbi Yehuda and, and other sages. He said that the children of Israel, even if they don't listen to Hashem, they are the sons of Hashem. And, and it's, you remember we spoke about Rabbi Akiva that there was a big question, are we called sons of Hashem or when we don't listen to Hashem, when we don't follow his way? So Rabbi Akiva answered the Roman general that we are always called the sons of Hashem and Rabbi Mir Balanes, by this we are given charity in his name, Rabbi Mir Balanes, because he says if we listen to Hashem or we don't listen to Hashem, we are the sons of Hashem, which means that when we don't listen to Hashem, we can be called servants of Hashem, Avadim la Hashem. But Rabbi Mir Balane said, we are always called sons of Hashem. Banim lo man bam. Hashem said, we are his firstborns. Ni b'chori Israel. So, banim lo man bam, even if we don't listen to Hashem, we are the sons, banim, the sons of Hashem. So, v'siyat adishmaya, Hashem promised by Temli Sgula Mikol Amim. Sgula is a three dots. You remember on Pesach we look at the Kara, we have the three dots, everything is on the Kara of Pesach. So Segol is one, two, three. This is Segol. And any, from any side that you look at it, it looks the same. But this Segol is parallel to our three forefathers, which means Abraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov. And look how beautiful. Why? Because the Segol, one dot is on the right side, give me. Another dot is on the left side, it's small. And the third dot is in the middle. You see, this is the Emtza. Because it resembles what Hashem created in this world. We came over here, we have three lines. This is how we are created also. We have the symmetrical line, and we have the right line and the left line. The right line is chesed, the right side is chesed, is mercy. The left side is judgment, and the middle side is peace, shalom, is the middle side. So Yaakov Abinu is the middle side. Abraham, Abraham is the right side because he worshiped Hashem with chesed, with kindness, and Yitzchak worshiped Hashem with judgment. So he's the left side. So we have here Chesed, and over here Din, and over here Tiferet, which is beauty. 
but the, which means this is kindness, chesed, and this is judgment, the left side, and in the middle is the tiferet. So this is segol, but Hashem said segula. This is golta. So segula, there's another, you know, at the beginning, the, the dots weren't under the letters, they were above the letters. Yes, this is another segol. Look, this is above the letters. אני זוכרת הרב הרי גמליאל, עליו השלום, זכותו תגן עלינו. He used to tell me, you know, that at the beginning, it wasn't like this, like today, it's underneath the letters. The dots were above the letters, to show us where we came from, what is above the letters. This is the keter, the crown. And this is chokhmah, the right side, chokhmah, wisdom. And this is vina, understanding. So Hashem, the internal light of Hashem that comes to the crown, Hashem pours it, you see, it's like mashpech, upside down mashpech, that Hashem pours it on, on all humanity. This is Hashem has an oath to the children of Israel, by them li sgula mikol amim. You are going to be special for me from all of the nations. So the origins of the, the name of Shavuot, of this holiday, the festival, is with the Kamatz, it's the weeks that we count, the Spirat Omer, and with the Shva, the two dots, the Siat is the oath that the children of Israel promised Hashem, and Hashem promised the children of Israel. And this is forever. There are people who say uh, from the nations that, because we, uh, if we don't listen to Hashem, then he changed, he took another nation. This is forever. Hashem is eternity, his word is eternity. So, this is Chag HaShavuot. The Chag HaBikurim, the bringing the first fruit that, uh, that blossoms, the Siyat HaDishma is on Shavuot. Salenu al ktefenu, v'anachu mavim et kol HaBikurim. We take the sal, we take, this is a sal. Can I take the sal? Oh, there's the kesef. There's the kesef. There's the kesef. There's the kesef. But we usually, you see also in Israel, the children go with a salsila, yeah, and they have the fruits inside of, because you remember Masechet Rosh Hashanah, it says over there that Shavuot is Rosh Hashanah Lailam, which means Besiyad Adishmaya, the fruit blossoms, and the farmer in the field makes, uh, takes a, a gumi, and he puts it around the fruit, that the first fruit, that um, blossomed and he puts around it, he doesn't touch it. This goes to Beit HaMikdash, wow. to the priest, and he brings it over here. And the fruits are the fruits of the land of Israel, that the land of Israel are blessed with. So what are the fruits that the land of Israel are blessed with? Eretz, Pitat, Sorak, Gevet, Peinam, Berimon, Eretz, and Shemen, Udbash. So the fruits of the land of Israel. Okay. <laughs> the fruits of the land of Israel, the land, you remember Parashat Ekev, Chumash Dvarim, chapter 8, verse 8, Bezrat Hashem Eretz, Chita, we have Chita, which is a wheat, we have barley, Chita, Seora, and then we have, this, this is, uh, from this we make, Yesh Lamu Shtei Lechem, on Shavuot we make it, Besiyat Adishmea, so, We'll speak about it, about Sbulot for Shavuot, Bli Neder Bezrat Hashem. And then Eretz Chita Sora Gefen, Gefen, which is Anabim, Tena, which is figs, Rimon is pomegranate, and we have Zayit, Zit Shemen, olives, and we have Tmarim, and dates. And we'll take them, the farmer takes them, and he brings them in front of the Kohen, and it was a big celebration to bring the Bikurim to Beit HaMikdash. All of the pilgrims, can you imagine, from all of Eretz Israel would go to Yerushalayim, and all of the workers in Yerushalayim, when they started coming in, they would stop the work. And they would come with the ox also that they're going to sacrifice, and he had on his horns he had the gold and silver, and there was also olives and grapes, 
and the people that get, came from far, you know, from the north or the south, it's far, so they brought uh, all of the fruits dry, dry fruits, dry uh, grapes, dry uh, olives, everything was dry. They brought it from there and everybody stopped their work. And they came with a Khalil, a fiddle or Khalil? Flu. They came with a flu and, and everybody was uh, dancing and singing the Siyata Dishmaya to come to, to come into Yerushalayim. All of this is described, you know where? Parashat ki tavo chumash dvarim. Can you imagine? Parashat ki tavo in chumash dvarim. There are two parashiyot that have all of the curses. One is the chukotai, the end of chukotai, and the other one is parashat dvarim. So over there, he comes, the farmer, even the king comes. He also comes with a salsila. Everybody goes in front, in front of the kohen. And I'm going now to Parashat Kitavu, and it's beautiful the way they come, they sing, and then they have to say Mikra Bikurim. And what is Mikra Bikurim? They speak, the person who brings all of the fruits, the first fruits, he brings it in front of the Kohen, and he has to say all of the history of the children of Israel that we went out of Egypt about Laban Arami, and then all of this, a short part of a history, and and this is what Hashem says. Vayaki tavo el ha'aretz asher Hashem elokecha noten lecha nachala v'yirashta v'yashavta ba. First of all, when you come to the land of Israel that Hashem gives you. So this is our land. By the Torah, this is our land. There's no question about it. The land of Israel belongs to the Jewish people. V'yirashta v'yashavta ba. And you're going to inherit it from the forefathers that Hashem promised them. And you're going to sit ba in her. And you take the first fruit that, that, uh, that blossoms and you bring it to the Kohen, to the place where Hashem chooses, which is Beit HaMikdash. And then it says, And you came in front of the Kohen at the time, that Kohen that is there, and he will take the tenet from your hands. And then it says, and you start saying, and at the beginning everybody said it on their own, but then there were people that had problems saying it, so the Kohen used to say it also for them, that nobody will be embarrassed, that they don't know how to read well. So the Siyat it start, it starts about, just like we said in the Agadah, Arami or Vedavi, you remember, it's Lavana Arami that wanted to go and kill Yaakov and all the children. You remember that he ran away from Lavan and he took his wives and his children. And Vayered Mitzrayim, and then we went to Egypt. Vemeteimad, that we went to Egypt, we, was, we were Shivim Nefesh, we were 70 souls. But then, Besiata Dishmaya, Vayisham Legoy Gadol Atsum Berav, that Hashem made us a big nation over there, we, we were sitting in Goshen. And then and the Egyptians gave us hardship. We were enslaved over, over there. And he said, we shouted to Hashem. This is the power of shouting to Hashem. Shouting from the bottom of our hearts. Hashem, King David says, from the bottom of our heart, we shout to Hashem. Hashem listened to our shout. And Hashem saw all of our sorrows. And he took us out from Egypt with a strong hand and, and also with a, a mighty hand. And it says, and we came to the land of Israel, the land of milk and honey. And now I brought the, my, the first fruits of my land. We didn't eat it. We brought it in front of the Kohen that Hashem gave us, that Hashem gave us that we, uh, we acknowledge that all of the blessings comes from Hashem, and you put it in front of Hashem, and you bow in front of Hashem, which means that this is the end, and you have to be happy with all of the blessings that Hashem bestowed upon you. So Sefer HaChinuch says, why do we do this mitzvah, and especially Parashat Kitavu, V'samachta, so dear ladies, it's with, because to learn humbleness, to remember that it will come from the subconscious to the conscious that everything we have, we owe to Hashem. Everything that we have, nothing is ours. 
even though there are, there are people who say, okay, kochi ve'otze medi asalit ha'chayla ze, my power and my might, I went and worked, now that's why I have my salary. No, this, we, you have to make an effort, we have to make an effort. But the blessings is from Hashem. King Solomon says, Bemishlei chapter 10, he says, Bebirkat Hashem hitashir. The blessing of Hashem makes us wealthy. Why? Because he gives us blessings in, in, in the amount of money that he gives us. It's a, the blessing comes from Hashem. So in order to learn how to be humble, Arambam says also, Bemishlei Torah Arambam, it's that we won't have pride and that we will overcome our desire, you know, the first fruit you want to take and just taste it, say a bracha and taste it. But he says, no, in order that we prevent, we won't have this desire. A, a righteous person eats for the, uh, to satisfy his soul, not his body, his soul. It's a big difference. So we eat in order that we will have the strength to worship Hashem and to, and to elevate all of this physical world to a, to a spiritual place in order that Hashem, that Hashem will bestow His Divine Presence upon us. That's why it's written in Barashat Basuli Mikdash, Veshachanti Betocham, and they will make me a sanctuary, and I will be dwelled upon them, upon us, not on the sanctuary, but upon us, each and every one of us. Can you imagine? So this is, oh, and there's another thing. The, usually the, 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 uh, the king and all of the rich people used to come with salsilot, with a... Um, this is the salsilot. Yeah. Yeah. The baskets. Basket. Usually they used to come with baskets with gold and silver. Can you imagine how beautiful wow. it would be? Wow. And the kohanim <coughs> will take the fruits and then will give them back the baskets. But the poor people, they didn't have this. I have to take it again. Like, <laughs> okay. But the poor people, they came with these baskets, the poor people. And the Kohanim would take the baskets and not give it back to them. As Omer, Omer, the Chazal say, our sages say, okay, after the poor person runs the poverty, <laughs> why didn't they give it back to them? But it was a sign for good luck. Because the Kohanim would say, this will stay with us, next year you will come with, with a basket with gold and silver on it. Wow. That's why they didn't give it back to them. Can you imagine how beautiful it is? So they said, next year with gold and besiata dishma and, and silver. So this is the Chag Abikurim. So it's called Chag Abikurim. In Israel, you can see the children are dressed white. They bring them the basket. They take fruits of the land of Israel. They sing songs. So you, it's very nice. Baruch Hashem. And then it's also called Atzeret. And Atzeret reminds us, Shmini Atzeret. Nachon? It reminds us that we go back to Sukkot. Nachon? On Sukkot we have seven days. The eighth day is a holiday by itself. It's called Shmini Atzeret. And Hashem says, please stop. I love you. I, I'm so happy that you, you were united and you are sitting in the Sukkah and you are eating together and singing and studying Torah in the Sukkah. Another day for me, as Shema says. So it's the same thing. It started from Pesach. On Sukkot we have seven days, but it started from uh, the first day of Sukkot until Shemini Atzeret, the eighth, which is called Atzeret. And we have Pesach, and then we have the seven weeks in Shavuot. Instead of seven days of Sukkot, we have the seven weeks. So it's the same thing. We have Pesach, and then we have a uh, Sheva Shavuot, and then we have Shavuot. Okay, so we count over here 49 days. <coughs> the 50th day, which is 50, 50th gate of wisdom, is Shavuot. So look how beautiful it is. The same thing, parallel to it, from Pesach to Shavuot. Mamash, the same thing. We'll speak about it in a few minutes also. What does it mean? So, the Atzeret. That's why it's called also Atzeret. Parallel to Sukkot, we have Shmini Atzeret. Then Chag Matan Torah. <coughs> I want you to know that the light of Hashem that He brought, we received the Torah at the year 2448. Like, like um, 3,500 years ago. We received at the year 2448, we received the Torah. Now, 
we are uh, 500, uh, 783. Okay, this is where we are now. And we received it 2,448. So dear ladies, the Seattle the light that was at that time when Hashem opened heavens. Wow, it's written so beautiful in Ma'am Loez. Hashem told Moshe Rabbeinu to prepare the children of Israel and to tell them three days that they cannot be with a woman. And then they have to go to the mikveh and also their clothing, everything you have to clean and wash. And, 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 and it says, put borders around the mountain of Sinai, put borders around the mountain of Sinai, he said, and don't let them pass the borders. And Hashem v'siyata dishmaya, v'uchava, and Hashem v'siyata dishmaya. This is beautiful. How do we take, a, uh, we prepare a challah, and then we take a portion of a challah, parashat challah, nechon? So Hashem saw to it, the Hara Moria will come to, uh, to the desert. And he saw the Har Moria, which is uh, 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 the Temple Mount. And he saw that it will come to the desert. And he took um, uh, uh, the mountain of Sinai and he put it on it. And it all was see-through because he put the mountain on the children of Israel. And everything was um, uh, see-through. You could see everything through it. Hashem opened heaven. Seven heavens. Can you imagine? It was uh, a day before. A day before it was raining. It's like Hashem did mikveh. In order to prepare the mountain and everything, it was raining. And then it started thunders, lightning, and then shofar started blowing, and the children of Israel could barely, could barely hold this because of it. And they told Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe Rabbeinu, we want to hear the, the, the voice of Hashem. At the beginning, they wanted to hear the voice of Hashem. He said, please, we want to hear the voice of Hashem. And Hashem opens heaven. That's why the Aftara on Shavuot is the Aftara from, from Yechezkel, the prophet. Because chapter the first chapter, because in the Aftara, the first chapter, is all of the chariot of Hashem. Uh, he, he, he describes all of the child, the angels, everything over there, he describes it. So this is the Aftara parallel to Kemamad al Sinai. And it says, and Hashem comes with all of his angels. 22,000 angels. And you remember the last shiur that we had on Tuesday? They come with flags. And the children of Israel see them with flags and they say, we also want to be the soldiers of Hashem like this. We also want to be like this. And we spoke how they were standing around the camp of Shekhinah, the camp of the Divine Presence, the camp of the Leviim, on the, on, on the east and the west and, and, the, and the north and the south. So he comes with all Hashem, with all of his angels. Can you imagine? And the bellies of the mothers that were pregnant became also see-through. It's See through the baby, the fetus that was in the, the in the womb of the mother, all of them, and all of the generations of the children of Israel were over there. It's unbelievable what what the children of Israel felt and saw over there, and the and the shofar became to be stronger and stronger and stronger. They thought that the heart cannot you know cannot uh, hold this, the, the shofar. All the lightning, the all and and the mountain. There was fire around the mountain and smoke around the mountain. Can you imagine that, Muhammad? And they were all standing there. No, that Hashem said. Okay, they want to hear me. Hashem said in one voice all of the Ten Commandments, all of the Ten Commandments. But nobody could understand because we're human beings. If they couldn't understand, but. The Ten Commandments, and why did I have this merit? Because we were all united, we were as one person. Because we all camped opposite the mountain, and we were all as one soul, like we are, truly are. We're just sparks of that soul, so we have to have different clothing, different bodies, in order to do the mission that we came over here. So they were standing over there, and Hashem said immediately all of the Ten Commandments in one voice. And there wasn't any echo in one voice. Can you imagine? 
but the, they couldn't understand. So Hashem st st started the first commandment, Anochi Hashem Elokecha. And when the voice of Hashem started, because of, of the of all of the strength of everything that what was happening and the awesomeness of everything that was happening, the children of Ezra were walking backwards. They were walking back. 12 miles backwards. And and it says that we received the Torah on Shabbat. So you know there's a Shtrum Shabbat. There's a, 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 there's a, limit. a limit to way, a, to how much you can go back. The mountain of Sinai was all around them. The Shekhinah was around them, so they were in the limit of Shabbat. <laughs> they didn't go out of the limit. They didn't go out of And it's unbelievable. And you have to know that when Hashem put the mountain of Sinai, so there was two mountains also that wanted. Just imagine, think that we are like children. Listen, all of the mountains, when they heard that all over the world, when they heard that Hashem is going to give the Torah, uh, to the children of Israel, they all took themselves and went to, to, the, to the, the desert. It's Hara Carmel, the mountain of Carmel, Hara Tabor. They all came, there were big mountains, and they had a fight. They wanted to go to a court in heaven and to tell Hashem, this is a small mountain, Har <laughs> Sinai, the Sinai mountain. Hashem, we are, look at us, we are mighty, we are big. We, the Torah should be given on us. And Hashem didn't want it because he wanted humbleness. He didn't want vanity. He wanted humbleness. But they're also going to get the reward because they wanted that the Torah will be given upon them. Can you imagine that they came? Just imagine this. So, dear ladies, unbelievable. So the children of Israel went back. And when Hashem said, Anochi Hashem Elokecha, I am Hashem your God, they felt like, you know, I, that Hashem is kissing them. And immediately their soul went out and they were all, the, uh, the soul went out of the body, they were all dead. Mm -hmm. So Hashem, it says in Mashlechet Shabbat Bagmara, page, uh, page 88, yeah, they were all dead. The soul went, because when you feel Hashem, you don't want to stay in the body. The, you, you can't stay in your body. You can't stay because you want to be one with Hashem. You want to be united with Hashem. When Hashem opened the heavens, he opened the heavens, and he showed everybody also the three earths. He showed everything, everything was revealed to them. Can you imagine even the ubarim, even the fetus could see everything. Everything was a, a see-through. Everybody was there. And the, the, the soul went out. So Hashem took the, the dew of, of Tchiyat HaMetim, of resurrection, put it on them, they all resurrected. And then he says, Lo You won't have any other gods. And again, the soul went out. The soul went out. They hear Hashem, they want to be part. They feel the love of Hashem, the goodness of Hashem, the mercy. There's no love like, like the love of Hashem. Can you imagine how much Hashem loves us? So the, again, the soul went out, and again Hashem put the dew of, of the resurrection upon them, and they, again, they, all of them were resurrected. So it says they came to Moshe Rabbeinu, and they told him, if Hashem will speak and, and give us the third, the third commandment, then we will be angels. We won't come back into the body anymore. So Moshe, you're going to listen to Hashem, and you will give us the other commandments. So we have 613 commandments by the Torah. Two of them Hashem gave us. They are implanted in our hearts. So even if a, a Jewish person does not um, observe the commandments, but in his heart he knows that there's one God because this is implanted in our heart. So look, we have 613. We take out two. Okay, two of them. We have 611 that Moshe Rabbeinu gave us. Torah tziva lanu Moshe morasha ki'ilat Yaakov. That Moshe Rabbeinu gave us the Torah, the siyata, the inheritance birthright from Yaakov Avinu. That's why the Torah, Taf is 400, Vav is 6, Reish is 200, Pei is 5, it's 611. These are the 611 commandments that Moshe Rabbeinu gave us. The first two, Hashem gave us the Siyat HaDishmaya, directly from Hashem. So every, every Shavuot, the light 
of Hashem the eternal life is there so we can mamash observe it just like it was when we received the Torah every Shabbat Kol Shana every Shana every year it's the same thing so how do we prepare ourselves the Siat Adishma so the Midrash says that Hashem gave very more meragish so I'll read you what the Midrash says and it says like this that <coughs> And we write over here, I told you, you nechonim l'shloshet yamim. You nechonim, prepare yourself for three days. So on this, the Midrash says, Midrash Rabba says, Darash oto glili l'tne rabi chisda, Baruch ha-Rachman, blessed is the Rachman, the merciful, shenatan Torah meshuleshet, I'm going to wipe the board so I can write it. Okay, that gave. Like a triple Torah, to a, a triple uh, people. And then, by the third one, which means that Hashem gave a triple Torah by, uh, to a, a triple nation by the third one on the third day and on the third month. So what does it mean? Everything is triple. And why? Because this is the Anahaga Shel Olam. Everything is triple because this is how the world is, uh, this is how the world is um, ruled by Hashem over here, not, not in heavenly uh, worlds, uh, but over here we have cheder, it's room. It's the chet <coughs> chesed, which is kindness, dalet is din, which is judgment, v'resh zarachamim, which is mercy. Cheder, you see? Everything is triple, nachon? <coughs> triple lines, okay? We have triple lines, the cheder. Okay, let's look. Mazat Torah Meshuleshet, we have the Tanakh. The Tanakh, this is the triple Torah, the Torah, the Torah, which the five books, Bereshit Shemot Baika Bamit Barbarim that Moshe Rabbeinu wrote, Torah Nevi'im, the prophets, Bektubim, this is the triple, Torah Nevi'im, Ketubim, Tanakh. You see? The, for the La'am Meshulash, the triple people, we are called Kli, we are called the vessel. Why? Because we Kohanim, we have priests, Levim, and then Israel. The initials is Kli, a vessel. We are three. And then Aledea Shlishi, by the three, we have Aaron, okay, Miriam, and we have Moshe. Three brothers, Nachon, he was the third one. This is the three. Then we have Beoma Shlishi, Yom Nachonim Meshoshon, in three days you have to prepare yourself. And then Bachodesh Shlishi, what month we are receiving the Torah, the month of Sivan. This is the third month. Why is it the third? You'll tell me, but the, the, it's not the third month. Because we, if we're looking from Tishrei, from the month of Tishrei, this is not the, the third month. So, by the Torah, the first month is Nisan. The second month is Iyal. And the third month is Sivan. One, two, three. And on Sivan, we have Shavuot, we have Atzeret. We started on Nisan when we had Pesach. This is Pesach. This is Spirata Omer. The Spirata Omer. And this, Sivan, is Shavuot. Matan Torah. Matan Torah. What did we do? Okay, so on Pesach, when Hashem took us out of Egypt, it was a revolution that Hashem showed His might. Hashem opened the ocean. Hashem took killed the, 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 the firstborn, over, opened the gates. Nobody could go out of Egypt from the gates. All of them were witchcraft. Nobody can go out of it. And Hashem opened the gate and they went and all of the dogs that were on that gate, and nobody opened his mouth. And they went in front of the ocean and the ocean was split to 12 parts. Can you imagine? This is Hashem. There was awakening in heaven and then there was awakening with us. 
Why? Because we were willing, Bedamai Chai, Bedamai Chai. We were devoted to Hashem. We, sh we showed Mesirut Nefesh. We, we agreed to take, us, the Jewish people, agreed to take the, the sheep and to tie it to the bed on, on the 10th of the month of Nisan and on the 14th after four days to slaughter him. And this was the worship of the Egyptians. And Hashem protected the children of Israel, but, but this we show devotion to Hashem, that we believe in Hashem. And then we cannot eat from the offering of Pesach, the sacrifice of Pesach, without being circumcised. So there was the blood of the offering of, of Pesach and also circumcision. So by these two bloods we came out of Egypt and Hashem made miracles above nature. Uh, and this is one day of miracles above nature. And then came all of the time of the month of Yar. Ani Hashem Rofecha, I am Hashem, your healer. Tell you how beautiful it is. We have the month of Adar, okay, which is the last month of the year by the Torah. And Adar is also Ani Hashem Rofecha. Adar is also initials. I am Hashem, your healer. <laughs> then we have Nisan, which Nisan means miracles. And then we come to Yar again. Ani Hashem Rofecha, I am Hashem, your healer. Beautiful, Lachon, and then we receive the Torah because the Torah heals us. It says in Masechet Barachot in the Gemara that if a person feels sick, he, if his head hurts him, he should study Torah. If his stomach hurts him, he should study Torah. If, if anything else, if all his body hurts him, he should study Torah. Because this is at the, the tree of life for the ones that uh, uh, donate for the Talmidei Chachamim, for, uh, for people who study Torah, and the ones that study Torah, Vesiyat Adishnah. So we see that on the, on the month of Iyar, we prepare ourselves. We are counting the Omer. The children of Israel were in 49 gates of impurity, and every day, all of the 49th day that we count, uh, the 50th is Shavuot, all of the 49th day, we go from one gate of impurity to gate of purity which means every mitzvah has three clothing. And the th like every sin has a three clothing, every mitzvah has a three clothing. So the clothing is the thought, the speech, and the action, okay? So we fix our character traits every day of Iyar, of the month of Iyar. Why? To become a vessel, to be transparent. That's the word that I was missing, to be transparent in order that we will, can receive, Hashem can bestow the light of the Torah upon us, us, our children, with Atashal Kal Israel and the whole world. Mm -hmm. So what happened is, the Lubevitcher Rebbe says something nice about this, Vesiyat Anishma, and he says, now, that on Sivan, when we received the Torah, the whole world became a vessel of, of, of heavenly, of Hashem in heaven. The whole world became a place for Hashem. The whole world, by the children of Israel receiving the Torah, the whole world became a kli, a vessel. Can you imagine how beautiful it is? So we see over here, Besiyat Adishmaya, this is Chag Matan Torah. Now there's a, a custom that at the night of Shavuot, which means Thursday night, the men do not sleep. It's, they study the Torah, they go through all of the Tanakh, everything they go, then the Zohar Kadosh, they, the whole night, we as women, the Siyat Adishmaya, we read Tehillim. We know that on Shavuot we read Megillat Ruth, Nachon? Yes, Ktsirchitim on Shavuot, the Siyat Adishmaya, we read Megillat Ruth because the King David was born on Shavuot and, and passed away on Shavuot. And also the Baal Shem Tov, Allah Shalom, passed away on Shavuot. We read Megillat Ruth on Shavuot. And we have, so as King David wrote, the book of Tehillim, the, the King David Psalms, and it's also divided to seven, uh, to yeah. five books, yes. seven days, but five, five books, parallel to the five books of Moshe Rabbeinu wrote. Mm -hmm. So what you can, I know we, we usually are, are tired, and in the morning we have to deal with the children, but what I, if you can read the whole book of Tehillim on your own at night, it's good. If you can't, divide it with your friends, mm -hmm. And each one will read, and together you finish the whole Tehillim, Baruch Hashem. The men will stay the whole night, and they will study Torah. And this is good business for um, 
cheesecakes because <laughs> after they will say shacharit usually they, they say mezonot on the cheesecakes because there's a custom to eat uh, milky things, uh, dairy things on, on Shavuot and why? Because dear ladies, the Torah in Shira Shirim King Solomon, King Solomon uh, says that in Shira Shirim, dvash, that the Torah is like dvash v'chalav tachat v'shonech. It's like honey and milk under your tongue, the Torah. So it's, the Torah is, uh, we compare the Torah to honey and milk, so it's very good, v'siyata dishmet, eat milk, it's a custom to eat milky things. Furthermore, in B'chumash Lamed, Bamidbar chapter 28, it's written, v'akirvchem mincha, regarding Shavuot, chadasha lehashem v'shavuotichem, the initials, which means that you bring an offering uh, on Shavuot, to Hashem on Shavuot, you see, this is milk, chalam. It's, the initials is chalam. And then Eretz, uh, uh, and the land of, of Israel, because uh, we said we bring Bikurim, the first fruits. Eretz, Zavat Chalav Udvash, the land of milk and honey, Bezrat Hashem. Furthermore, Moshe Rabbeinu went to mountain Sinai. Uh, he was 40 days and 40 nights on mountain Sinai to receive the Torah. And Chalav, milk, is 40 in numerical value. Chet is 8, Lamed is 30, Bet is 2, together it's 40. So, this is uh, the, all the signs that we should eat. Uh, uh, there's a custom to eat milky things. So, usually in the morning, and then they have a break, and then they do the, because we have to uh, honor also Shabbat, uh, the uh, festival, with meat. And so, you, at the, in the morning, they, I know the men usually eat uh, cheesecakes. You know, mezonot, and then they sell a michia, and then after an hour, more than that, they have the meal with uh, meat and the siyat rishmaya, wine and everything. Now, I'm reminding you, we're reading Mekilat Ruth. Ruth is the example of Gior Tzedek. This is a convert that she wanted to become Jewish. She was a daughter of a glon, a king of Moab. She was a, a princess. And Naomi, after the two sons, her husband, her two sons passed away, she had the two sisters that were princesses, the daughters of the Glom, with her. And she tells them, okay, I don't have anything anymore. No money, nothing. You should go back to your home. So, you know, sometimes yes. converts say... Were sisters? No, they were sisters. No, they're from different mothers, but the, they, uh, it's, their father was a Glom. And they were princesses. So there were sisters. So dear ladies, she told them to go. Look how the name gives us a hint about the personality of a human being. Because it's Ruth and Orpah. Orpah is the letters of Pao. So what did she do? Pao is the Haoref. Haoref is this. So she, she cried, but then she left her and she went back to Eglon. She went back to Moab, to her father. But Ruth, look at Ruth. Ruth is at Chalashal Torah. The hay is missing. You see Ruth? And Ruth told her, Naomi, she told her, go, go. She tried to move her to, so that she would go back. But she said, no, because wherever you go, Ruth told her mother-in-law, where, Naomi, wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you sleep, I will sleep. And your people is my people, your God is my God. Can you imagine? So that's why Ruth had this chut that she will, she will give birth to Obed. Obed was the father of Ishai, and Ishai was the father of King David. And look, Ruth, in numerical value, Reish is 200. Bab is six, Taf is 400, together it's 606. Plus the seven commandments of Noah, if I add the seven commandments of Noah, it's 613, all of Tariyat Mitzvot Doraita. She accepted upon herself all of the mitzvot of the Torah. And she was the mother of a king. She was alive when King Solomon became a king. Can you imagine how righteous she was? That's a true convert. So dear lady, let's go a little bit forward. Let's go about Sgulot, Bezrat Hashem. 
I would like to remind you to do halot. So there's people, people who, uh, uh, there are some who do the halot with, uh, with four braidings, because like the pardes, that the Torah is learned by the pardes, yeah, by the pardes, see, one, two, three, four. Pardes is a, a orchard. orchard. So the pay is the pshat that you learn by just reading the Torah itself. The reish is remez, the dalet is drash, and the samech is sod. Okay, this is initials of how we study the Torah. As we have the pay, the pshat, reish, the remez, it's the gematriot, all of the numerical value, all of the hints. Drash is all the gemara, mishnah, brayta, everything, and samech sod is the kadosh, is the kabbalah. So we men kemach and Torah, men Torah and kemach. So we prepare and we say. Also, when we do that together, the challah, we always say men kemach and Torah, men Torah and kemach. When we add the kemach, when we add the flower. So let's continue. Bezrat Hashem. Ah, what? Don't get angry. I'm reminding you. Be calm. Don't let the evil inclination cause you to get angry. The children in between your legs. You have to finish everything. If we get angry, then we lose all of our merit. And this is the mamash yetzerara, even inclination, trying mamash bekoach to take all of our mitzvot. Don't get angry. Everything with a smile. Remember, it's yetzerara. The whole time, be nice and be and, and, and give a smile. You know, a smile can can solve all of the problems. And if you get angry, mm -hmm, don't open your mouth, please. <laughs> Take water and say, Shakod Yabit Baro. Remember, everything is in the word of Hashem. So, Besiyada Dishmaya. So, we spoke about that. So, some braid, four, um, like four braidings. You know, they make braid it with four uh, strings of the, of the flower, oh, of the dough, Slicha. And then, uh, oh, I'm reminding you, this is Halacha. By Shulchan Aruch, and we usually, and we remind the husband is supposed to buy something nice to his wife to make her happy. This is by Alaka, and to give his children, you know, sweets and magadim to the children, things that they will like. If the does, if the, your husband doesn't have, or he didn't remember, if you want him to remember, since the, put Daka and say, please, Hashem, remind my husband. <laughs> but if he doesn't, it's also from Hashem, okay? But this is by Shulchan Aruch, that the husband should make his wife happy and the children happy. Oh, I'll tell you a story about Arab um, Yashiv, Alav Hashlom Zchutot Hagen Elohitz. There was a person in Yerushalayim that came to him and he, and he was very sick and he had chemo and he had a lot of chemo and he said, came to the rabbi, it was before Shavuot, two days before Shavuot. It's a true story and he told him, Rabbi, what shall I do? I'm so sick and the doctor said that in my last thought and I have, you know, more and more chemo, I, I can't, he said it's that he cannot bear this. He said, so what shall I do? So the rabbi started crying and he was crying. And the rabbi, Rabbi Yeshiv, blessed him. And then before he goes out, he said, you know what, it's two days before Shavuot. You remember, we just described all, Muhammad, all, of, the, uh, the, um, all of what happened on, uh, when they received the Torah around the, the borders of the mountain of Sinai. I know that the mountain of Sinai, it was like taking a portion of Har Moriah and making the mountain of Sinai. Just like we do of Rashad Chala, we're taking a portion. So, and so he told him, Hashem healed because you have to be a whole, mentally and physically. Uh, the clothing should be a whole. The body is a clothing to the soul. So Hashem healed all of the, the children of Israel uh, around the mountain. Everybody was healed. If a person didn't have a part of his hand, Hashem healed it. His legs, everything, everybody was healthy, mentally and physically, because we were one. We were united. Nobody can control the children of Israel when we are united. No nation, no tongue, nobody can. Why? Because then we are united with Hashem. Because how does Hashem know that we love Him? When we love His children. So this is un unity. So nobody can uh, only besiata dishmaya when, when we are united, besiata dishmaya, then we are one with Hashem, totally one with Hashem. So besiata dishmaya. We see over here that he tells him 
the Arab Elishit tells him, you know what, we are two days out before Shavuot. I want you to do this. Go and study all of the Ten Commandments, but study that you mamash understand them, that you understand the Ten Commandments. So if you want, you can go to Ma'am Loez today uh, online. You can also find all of the explanation, all of the Mepharshim, Besiad of the Ten Commandments. He says, after you know that, when they read the Ten Commandments, take your children to hear the Ten Commandments in the shul, it's a big thing. When you, read, when you hear the Ten Commandments, the Baal Koreh, the person who says the, reads the Ten Commandments, it's, it says that the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, speaks from his throat. Can you imagine? He says, just imagine that you are on, on, on the border of the mountain of Sinai. And the light of Hashem is coming down with all of the, because this is the wisdom of Hashem. Dvar Hashem, this is halacha. This is the word of Hashem. So all of the Ten Commandments is halachot. It's, it's the commandments. So he says, imagine that you're standing around Mount Sinai, and now you're a vessel, of, of, you're a vessel to receive the eternal light of Hashem. This is what he did. He went to do his checkups, and the... Everything went away. He was healed totally. Nothing. He didn't have anything. Can you imagine? This is a true story about the Arab el Yeshiv al So, on the Amanos, oh, and because there were so many um, scents of, uh, of, of flowers and scents of, of um, perfumes, the whole mountain, everything was with good scent. Good smells was there. So we usually there's also a custom that to have flowers at home and in the shul, Vesiata Dishma, that everything with colorful and, and delight for the eyes and delight for the nose, for our soul to smell all of the good smells, Vesiata Shem. And Vesiata Dishmaya ask for righteous children, Vesiata Shem, ask that Hashem will open our hearts that we will all repent to Him. Ask for Zibugim. For all, everybody that is alone, that Hashem will give them the, their Besher, Bezrat Hashem, from the root of their hearts, and they will have eternal, will bless, they will be blessed with eternal home and righteous children, and they will keep Torah mitzvot, the Torah and the commandments. Ask for peace at home, Shalom Bayit. Ask for Shalom, ask for good Parnassah. Everything, all of the gates are open, Besiat Adishmaya. And let's see, I want to see another thing. Oh, and it's, there's a promise I'll give you from this book. I want to give you the Sgula of Abhi Chaim Falaji. So the Sgula of Abhi Chaim Falaji, it says, uh, Abhi Chaim Falaji says that on the eve of Shavuot, so but if you want to donate in Israel, the Siyat Adishmael, donate over here, so do it before the eve of Shavuot. On the eve of Shavuot, Yatrish Tishim Vachat Prutot, it's it, uh, 91 uh, coins or dollars or 90, why 91? Because 91 is Amen. And it's the two names of Hashem, Yud Kei Vav Kei, the name of mercy and the, came, and the name of Hashem that is the Lord of the world, Adnut. So this is together 91 and it says you should add to it if you want children, if you want children, add to it that it will be twice bad. Then, Anybody that wants children, Ben, Bet is two, Noon is 50, together it's 52, multiplied by two, it's 104. So 21, add to it to be 104. If, if you want children, where you're blessing people for children, Bezrat Hashem, give it to scholars in Torah that don't have money. And Besiyah, he says, the person who wants children, and he gives it on Erev Shavuot, 104, the amount, twice Ben, which means a, a son multiplied by two, 104, Bezrat Hashem will have that year, Besiyah, the Bishma, Zerah Bar Kema Dor Shem Ruach, will have children. One. Twice 42, uh, 52, Smicha. Okay? Zebe. So it says over here, Beitnem Betalmit Chacham Ani Ba'anab to give it to a scholar in Torah, Behu Tikun, and this is a fixing, Le'avon Adam Arishon, for the sin of the first human being, for Adam and Eve, Ba'avon Ha'egel, it's a fixing also for the golden cloth, Avon Ha'egel, Ve'lipgam Abrit, it's a fixing for uh, spreading the sperm in vain, Behu Sgula Lechashuchei Banim. 
And it's also a, a, a sgula for people who don't have children, and also brings the gula closer. This is in the book, Masat Tzedakah, page 109, Amud Bet. Furthermore, Besiyat Adishmaya, I said, ask for Shlom Bait. Ask that your husband will love you, and, and, and Bezrat Hashem, that you will love him back, like Hashem wants you to love each other. And Besiyat Adishmaya, know that Le'ah, Le'ah was conceived on, on the, the eve of Shavuot with, um, um, with Issachar. So, <laughs> we ask for Talmidim Chachamim to have scholars in Torah and uh, bless your children with Birkat HaKohanim and bless them that you will have Yiddish Chassid Shenachah from all of your children, Bezrat Hashem. I said Refua uh, Akol, Chala Dibarnu, and okay. So let's continue from now this book. A few more Sgulot and then Bezrat Hashem, Chag <laughs> Sameah. So it says, like this, that he who kol mi sheye me'or belel chag ha-shavuot, he who is awake the whole night, I'm speaking about the men, okay, not the women, you, we need to, well, you need, we need to prepare the suda, we need, I'm speaking about the men, kol mi sheye me'or belel chag ha-shavuot, ve'no yashen belayla, and he doesn't sleep the whole night, and he, uh, and he's engaged in studying the Torah, yeshamu ba'elyonim ba'tachtonim ve'yotzi shnato b'shalom, which means he won't die the whole year. Nothing will happen to him. He, was, he will be protected in heaven and o- over here on earth. This is ba'kadamot shel ha'zohar, the preparation for the Zohar, page 9, amud alef. Klomar shelo yamut bota shana, he won't pass away in that year. Ukvar be'er rabbeinu ha'arizal, and ha'arizal says, שהוראת חיי האדם בשנה היא תלויה בעניין זה, כי אם לא ישן כלל, ודאי שלא ימות בשניים. אז הדארי זר סז, אם היא לא ישנה, בתיקון ליל שבועות, the whole night of שבועות, he was studying Torah, nothing will harm him. He will be protected. Can you imagine? ברוך השם. So this is a big thing. And it says, and the Yerushalmi, but Talmud Yerushalmi, Sharabi Chia, Natal Pitka, Rabbi Chia took a note, Vekatav Alea, Bayom Ashmini, Atzerat Yelachem, and he wrote on it that on the eighth day, Atzerat Yelachem, what's written in Bamid Vach Mashem, Bamid Vach chapter 29 and verse 39. Al Tikri Tehi Ela Tichye, which means take the hay and make it a chet, it's life. You'll be blessed because the, the men that study the whole night will be blessed with long life. Besiyat Adishmael. Amegale Amukot says, Teruka Me'afte, he says on this, Shebetikun El Shavuot, that he stayed on El Shavuot the whole night to study Torah, Shebetikun El Shavuot Echad Nitzal Mekama Kretot Shitchayev Alem. Elimination of the soul. That, uh, that, that, uh, that a person who's, who is awake the whole night and studies Torah, he, is, he can even be saved from elimination. If he had, he made a sin that, the, that because of this, there's an elimination to the soul, he, he will be saved from it. Okay. Can you imagine? Keretot. And we, we continue, Hashalah HaKadosh says, it's, it's, it tells us a, a, a very uh, harsh story about Rabbeinu Shlomo El Kabetz. You remember Rabbeinu Shlomo El Kabetz that wrote Lechad Odi Likrat Kala? And he was the rabbi of Aramak, Rabbi Moshe Kordovero, that we studied Tomer Dvorai, Tomer Dvorai Besiyat Adishman. Yes, so he says before that, before Rabbi Shlomo El Kabetz, Alav Hashem Soto Beganelo, before he came to, before he came to Israel, that he gathered with his friends, it can soon be Chabarav HaKadoshim Belel Chag HaShavuot on the on the night of Shavuot, ובראשם מרן הבית יוסף, and also רבי משה קארו, that wrote שולחן ארוך, והגו כל הלילה בלימוד התורה, and the whole night they were studying the Torah. באמצע הלימוד, this is ממש צדיקים, in the middle of their study, נתגלתה להם השכינה הקדושה. The שכינה, the divine presence, was revealed to them. וואו, שאמרה בפניהם, דברים נפלאים ועצומים על זכות לימודם בזה הלילה. And then she gave them a דבר תורה about the, uh, the awesomeness and the might of their study at the night of שבועות. And it says, את סדר תיקון, הנלמד בליל שבועות, סידר רבינו אריזל, סעודה אריזל, 
made the, the, um, the whole um, way how to study on Tikkun Shavuot, Beshar Kavanot, Inyan Chag HaShavuot, Vehu Miyusad Al Piyazor HaKadosh, and it's by the Zohar HaKadosh. And the Chida says, Sha'al Adam Ninho Kemina Gabotenu. And, and, and Chida says that, uh, that all of the men should do what all of our forefathers did and continue with this. And also the Gaon Mevilna, the Gera, also did it by uh, the same way that the Arizal did by the Zohar HaKadosh. Furthermore, a few more uh, things. Uh, wait. In Atzeret, because on Atzeret on Shavuot, Nidonim al Perot Ha'ilan, you remember we said that we are judged over the fruits of the tree, and this is by um, Rosh Hashanah, uh, Bagmara, in the Gemara on Rosh Hashanah, page uh, 16, uh, Amud Aleph. It's, why? Because Ke Adam Etz HaSadeh, because we know in chapter 20 from Chumash Dvarim, Adam Etz HaSadeh, we are, we are compared to the tree in the field. You, why? Because our soul is like from the tree of life. So the souls come. So we are like a part of the tree of life. When we study the Torah, we, are, we, we fulfill, we go by the way of Hashem, we are part of the tree of life. So, so any salvation that you need, can, you can be saved with so the fruits of the tree of life is the souls of the children of Israel. Can you imagine how sweet their words are? And you should know that the Shela Kadosh also says by the Toldot Yaakov, he says this, that on Shavuot, the men are judged for their, how they studied the Torah. Like we have Rosh Hashanah, that we are judged for all of our actions. Shavuot, we are judged for how did we study the Torah. How did we read Tehillim, Perek Shira, Shira Shirim. If we intended to do it, we did it for the sake of heaven, or we did it for our sake to be right, that we will, we will be called righteous. We are judged for, so dear ladies, we should accept upon ourselves the Bezrat Hashem, that we, that uh, uh, even if we didn't have a Kavana before, even if we didn't have the intention, Hashem will open the gates of heaven, and now we will have a Kavana from now on Bezrat Hashem, that we'll ask from Hashem for help. So, so this is the judgment day of how we study the Torah. Because this is the day we receive the Torah. So we are judged for the Torah that we study. And it says, uh, and also, this is a day that we can ask that we will be, uh, we'll have the marriage. She's kuhu vavanat kitra shel Torah. That we will have, that we will have the marriage, that we will have the crown of the Torah. V'siyat adishmei asa, our children and all of us uh, uh, generations after us. And furthermore, v'siyat adishmei, v'yom zemes suga lemechilat avonot. And this is a big day, Shavuot, that Hashem will forgive us for all of our sins, all of our transgressions. And one year on Shavuot, Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak, said, "Berosh Hashana Kadosh Baruch Hu Noheik Melech." On Rosh Hashana, we know Hashem behaves like a king. Okay, we we crown Hashem. On Rosh Hashanah, the Melech Shemachal al Kvodo and a king that forgives that uh, his honor ain't Kvodo Machul because he's a king. His honor is not forgiven because it's a king. But Hashem treats us, the children of Israel, as his sons because Ni Bechor Israel, we are his children, his firstborn children. Ve'ilu bechag Shavuot, but on Chag Shavuot, which we received the Torah. HaKadosh Baruch Hu noten ha-Torah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we received it by, from Hashem. Nefach l'rav ha-melamed Torah la'amo Yisrael. So now Hashem is not like a king, now he's a rabbi that teaches us the Torah. Ve'kai malan, and we know by Masachet Kiddushim in the Gemara, page 32, Ayin Bet, Amud Bet, Rav Shemachal al Kvodo, a rabbi that forgave his honor, you know, forgave others even if he was, his honor was hurt, Kvodo Machul. That his honor is forgiven. 
So Besiata Dishmaya, Banot Yekarot, we have this chut. So please also forgive each other. Let's forgive each other. Let's forgive ourselves. Let's open a new page. Let's be a vessel of Hashem Torah. May Hashem bench all of us, Bezrat Hashem, in Klal Israel, and bless all of the world with Shalom, Bezrat Hashem. Shalom Alenu, Barkola Misar, Barkola Olam Kuro. Besiata Dishmaya, may we all have the schut to greet Mashiach Tzikan Machamim Urim in Rabbi Amen, Amen. Eliyahu Nabi Zakula Tov, Lolam in Parab Adam in Mechabro, Bivar Alachai Achim, Barabim Alachai Kerabim. Bezrat Hashem, dear ladies, Achak Shavuot Sameach, that we will all have the schut, Bezrat Hashem. To be the vessel of Hashem's Torah. Amen. I love you. We'll meet next Monday, Bezrat Hashem. Can you explain one more time, please? 104. That's what I wanted to know. What? Tamar Dalvik. Okay, I was asked, so maybe also. Oh, I want to remind you, I'm sending you on the WhatsApp. And the campaign of Torah Anytime. So it's a, an opportunity to say thank you. So we have a group, Iris or Deni Ayashit. Just go into the group. If you don't know how, it will explain. Go into the group and just donate something. Yeah. It will be very nice so they can continue uh, spreading out the Torah. So 91 yeah. is Ilan. We are judged over the Ilan. Aleph is one, Yud is 10, Lamed is 30, Nun is 50. Together, Besiata Dishmaya, it's 91, you see? Okay? It's 91. 91 is Amen. Aleph is 1, Mem is 40, Nun is 50. Nun is 50, it's also 91. 91 is Malach, it's an angel. We're creating an angel. Mem is 40, Lamed is 30, Aleph is 1, and half is 20, it's 91. 91 is the combination of the two names of Hashem, Yud Kei Vav Kei of Mercy, which is 26, and the name Shh, and the name of Hashem, that is Admut, is the Lord, which is 65, together it's 91. Now, anybody that needs children, or you want to give, it, which is a big mitzvah for somebody else that doesn't know that you're doing the mitzvah for them, mm -hmm. then you give, uh, Rabbi Chaim Palaji says, the amount of sun, Ben Bibri, Bet is two, Nun is 50, together it's 52. Okay, he says, double the amount of 52, which is 104, you give as a charity, and you say in order that this person will have children. Okay? So, Chag Sameach, Chag Sabot, Sameach Bezrat Hashem. We meet next Monday Bezrat Hashem. Hashem Ben Shio.